Hey guys, welcome to the part two of sign up using OTP in Django and Django REST framework. And in this one, we are going to create our serializer. We are also going to create our view set and URLs for the same. In the previous video, we have covered up the user model creation part and also manager creation. So if you all haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out and then watch this video. So we'll start by creating our serializers dot py inside demo app and in this we'll start by importing few packages so first will be from date time we are going to import the date time itself and also the time delta this will be used to create the expiry of otp then i'm going to import random to create the password or that is otp then we are going to import the settings so from django dot on the import settings and uh, from rest serialize uh, sorry rest framework import serializers and then from dot models i'm going to import the model so that is user model so our imports are almost done one of the import i will do later in the final video and we'll start by creating our serializer so it will be class user serializer serializer sorry serialize and not serializers and this will be serializers dot model serializer that we are going to use over here and in this we are going to create two fields so first will be password one so password one and this will be serializers dot care field or char field whatever you want to say this will be write only as true because we don't really want uh, it to be visible when users read means like call this for read so this will be write only as true then minimum length of this uh, field will be uh, let me get that uh, did i miss something no so minimum uh, length that is mean length uh, will be uh, that will come from settings so settings dot if you all remember in settings dot pi we have already declared the mean password length so that we will use over here and i will put error message okay so this will be uh, triggered when the minimum length is not uh, really satisfied so the mean i'm going to check for mean length error mean length error and i will say this will be password must be longer than uh, I'm going to put it over here. So this will be settings dot whatever the length that we have declared uh, longer than uh, these many characters. So I mean since I'm using f string over here, so I can put this value directly inside here. So our error message is ready now. And let me put a comma. So this is password one field and to confirm the password I'm going to create another field called as password two. It will be exact same uh, and just the field name will be changed. Okay. Then we are going to declare our class meta. So class meta and in this we are going to specify our model. So model will be the user model and what will be the fields that we want to show to the user. So I'm going to put it over here it will be phone number because that's what that is important to send otp then i'm going to also ask user for his email and then we are going to pass in the password uh, one and password two okay so we'll ask for both the passwords so now that this is ready we want to validate if password one and password two are matching when user sends it and if they are not matching then throw an error so let's do that so i'll create a method called as uh, validate so validate actually i'm overriding this method uh, i'll use this as data instead of uh, attributes and in the end we are going to return the data itself and not the super so here i'm going to validate so if data access the password one if data password one is not equal to data password two password two if they are not equal then let's raise an uh, validation error okay so it will be raise a uh, serializers dot validation error and i will say passwords do not match so our validation is taken care of and now when we create the user in order to set his password we have to override the serializers create method so let's do that quickly so def create 
and i'm going to use self and this will have validated data so validated data so in this we are going to create the user object uh, so i'll call it as user and this will be taking user model and we'll pass the phone number uh, as uh, we'll extract it from the validated data okay so it will come phone number the validation will be already taken care in this validate method uh, for the phone number if it does not exist then it will throw error from from here itself okay so that's why we can directly access the validated data over here and phone number is done now let's take take the email so same validated data and extract the email from there then we also have to specify otp right so let's create an otp just after finishing this okay and we also have to specify otp expiry right so that also will do just in a moment okay and final thing will be max otp try uh, otp underscore try and this will be also actually this will be coming from settings.py that we have specified over here so let's copy this and it will be settings dot max otp try okay so our user model is ready now we are going to assign the password for the user if you remember in previous video in user manager we have already done that user dot set password so i'm going to copy that from here and paste it but we don't really have any variable called as password so we have to extract the password from validated data so i'm going to paste that over here and then i'm going to see over here i have password one and password two uh, fields so any one of the password will work so let's paste password one over here because in the end we have validated uh, saying that both the password should be same okay password is set now then we will do user dot save and in the in the final video when we create a send otp function we will call that over here so i'll put a to do over here right now uh, call send otp function okay and then we are going to return the user for now so this is done now let's create our otp and otp expiry so i'll copy this variable and paste it over here this will be random uh, dot rand int that is select any random integer from 1000 to 9999 okay so that means select any any one of the random integer out of uh, from in between these two so that means we will have otp of four digits now let's create our otp expiry so for that i'm going to paste it again over here and then this time we are going to use date time dot now so it will give current date time and then i'm going to add 10 minutes so let's say it is valid only for 10 minutes to otp so i'm going to add by using time delta that we imported here and add how many minutes okay so i'm going to give minutes as 10 so this means it will uh, take current date time and add uh, 10 minutes from now to that date time and that will be our otp expiry so here our serializer is ready now just that one thing we have to do we'll do that in the end let's go to views and create our view set for the same so we'll start by doing all the imports uh, so first import i'll do is from rest underscore framework i'm going to import the view set okay so this will help me in doing model view set and then we are going to import our model so from dot models import the user model and from dot serializers import the user serializer that we created so our import for this video is done let's create the class called as user view set okay and this will be taking in view set dot model view set because that's what we are going to use and then we will specify our query set so query set will be user model dot objects dot all then we will have serializer class this will be taking in user serializer and our view set is ready not entirely but yes some part of it is ready so let's create our urls.py uh, actually you know what since it is small project so let's not create urls.py in demo uh, we'll directly access the urls.py of uh, the project here we'll register our router and for that we will have to import our default router and also the view from the demo app so let's do import both of them from rest framework dot routers import default router and from demo 
import the views uh, i have to correct the spelling of import and let's create an object of the default router so router will be equal to default router and after this we are going to register our view set so router dot register and the path that i want to give is user and then this will be taking views dot user view set and then i'm going to give base name as user itself then after this we are going to give assign that to url pattern so url pattern plus equal to because this is a list uh, and it will be router dot urls the final thing in this urls.py i think we should do is register the rest frameworks url also so it will be path and whatever is given on the rest frameworks website that's what i'm putting it over here so auth and slash and then it will include i will do the import of include later on so rest underscore framework dot urls and let's import this include and it is done our urls.py is ready so this is it for this video guys in this video we were able to finish up the serializers except for this one thing then we were also able to complete our view set and urls.py so in the next video we are going to write the logic to verify the otp and activate the user and also we are going to write logic to regenerate otp up to max times that is three over here and then allow it to cool down and then again allow user to resend the otp so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share see you in the next one